What would happen to your body if you got lost in space? Immediate effects, 0 to 15 seconds. No air, no pressure. Space is a vacuum, so there's no atmospheric pressure. The air in your lungs would rush out violently if you didn't exhale first, potentially rupturing lung tissue. Boiling bodily fluids. Without pressure, water in your body, like saliva, tears, and the moisture lining your lungs, would begin to vaporize a process called ebolism. You wouldn't boil like soup, but your skin would swell as fluids vaporize beneath it. Loss of consciousness. You'd pass out within 10-15 seconds due to hypoxia lack of oxygen to the brain. Short-term effects. 15 to 90 seconds. Swelling but not exploding. Your body would expand to about twice its normal size, but your skin is elastic enough to hold you together. Freezing isn't instant. Space is cold, minus 270 degrees, but heat loss in a vacuum is slow. You'd cool gradually through radiation, not instantly freeze. Radiation exposure. Without Earth's atmosphere or a spacesuit, you'd be bombarded by cosmic rays and solar radiation, which could damage cells and DNA. Long-term effects. Two plus minutes. Irreversible damage. If rescue doesn't happen within 90 seconds, brain damage and organ failure become likely. Death, you'd die from asphyxiation and circulatory collapse, not freezing or exploding. What if you were rescued quickly? If you were retrieved within about 60 seconds, you could survive with medical intervention. NASA has tested this with animals and found that short exposures, under 30 seconds, can be survivable, though extremely traumatic. Subscribe for more.